have the conversation ahead of time, be clear about the roles, and the success rate will go up significantly. Hello, delighted again to have Bill Carson with me. Welcome back, Bill. Hello, John. Great to be back. Thank you. Some great discussions we've been having, and what I'd like to do is, is continue on the, the theme of, of sales coaching. Yes. And, and you had the five facets of sales coaching, and one of those was around call execution, coaching around yes. the call. Yes. Uh, not necessarily, and we'll talk later about how a, a sales manager actually behaves on a call and yes. manages that. But before we do that, you've got five roles of a, of a sales manager yes. related to calls. Can yes. you tell me what those five are? Yep. The the big trap that all sales managers have is they get on calls and they take over. In, inexperienced sales managers and new sales managers who are expert salespeople cannot help themselves, exactly, can they? Exactly, no. Uh, and, and it's the biggest lesson that we all have to learn, and I, I, I still struggle with it when I go on a call, that shut up! Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. But yeah. be the sales coach. Yeah. So there's five roles, and it's really important to be clear what they are. First of all, a pure observe role, Yep. Uh, a support role, an advance the sale role, or a model the call role, or a press the flesh role. So let me explain those a little bit further. So one of the important distinctions is for sales managers to recognize, is this a, an early stage call, um, so that uh, um, it's not critical, or is it a late stage uh, in the sales process, in the buyer process? So from one of what you're saying, let me understand this, you're saying, on every call that you go on with a salesperson, you need to ahead of time define what your role is as a sales manager on that call. Exactly. exactly. And, and make sure the salesperson yes. is very clear on that. Yes. Uh, and therefore, you both go into the call with those roles in mind. Yep, absolutely. Okay. I'll land the critical message right here, right now. And that is, it's so important that the sales manager clarify with the salesperson what his or her role is right up front. Because if you don't have the conversation, you could be setting up that the salesperson thinks you're not going to be involved, or they might think you are going to be involved. So you've got to have a communication prior to the call and know exactly what the function is. So a lot of managers find it really difficult to just purely observe, and I understand that. So they get introduced, they've had the discussion as to what that is, and most of the time they'll, in, they'll be in a support role in an early stage, early stages of the sales, of the buyer's process. Right. And they'll have some discussion as to, you know, what my role will be. So it might be a trigger such as, you know, John, um, I'm picking up on what um, uh, Jennifer has just shared. What about if I apply some, you know, ask Jennifer some additional questions? So something that's agreed as to how you signal in. But agree that ahead of time before Absolutely. you go into the meeting. Yes. So, so the pre-planning of the meeting is obviously very vital. Yeah. But perhaps we can talk, talk about that at another time as well. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So much more effectively than, you know, you're driving there, okay, who you're meeting with and uh, what sort of, you know, how are you going to introduce me? You've got to be a little bit more sophisticated than that. The, uh, the third area is if you're advancing the sale, which is totally appropriate, you're going to be coming in later on in the, in the, in the buying uh, process and using your authority, experience, etc., etc. If you're modelling the call, you'll generally do that with newer salespeople and you've agreed that up front. Mm -hmm. And then fifthly, that... Um, pressing the flesh. You know, sales managers need to be out there meeting customers, you know, waving the flag, here we are, but they don't take over. And a critical distinction in the call is when the buyer uh, person you're talking with is giving you um, um, uh, eye contact, then just turn your uh, head away and look to the, your salesperson to redirect their great, attention. Great suggestion. Yes. Hey, uh, we talked about the fact that it's very hard to shut up and, and yes. let the salesperson play their role and you play, play your role. Yeah. But it's so often a sales manager is in a call where the salesperson is struggling. Yes. Uh, and they're probably going to screw the call up. Yeah. You don't still, risk it. Don't you know, risk it. No, because th these days, well, you know, you get some, some sales managers will argue, just let them have the learning experience. Well, a lot of them sort of don't necessarily want to do that. So you again have the conversation ahead of time. Look, if you, if you, if you feel, a sales rep, that you're really struggling here, either flick it to me or, or else I'll step in, are you okay with that? So as long as the communication is established up front, it's critical. At the same time, you know, we all know that we learn from our mistakes. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it mm -hmm. is right to let the salesperson 
go through that failure and yeah. then afterwards talk about how they would have done it differently. Yeah, exactly. They, they probably learn that rather than us taking over and doing it for them. Exactly. And that's why if you want to take that risk, you do that with early stage uh, um, and early stage meetings in the buying cycle. So you're not risking, you know, dollars and... Where you've already invested heavily in the sales yeah, cycle. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's Makes where sense. that might be necessary or desirable. Okay. Mm. All right, Bill. So, so you've talked about the, the five roles. Yes. Uh, you need to define ahead of time what your role is as a exactly. sales manager in a call. Yeah. Pre-plan that. Uh, and, and it's not just, hey, quick discussion as you're going in the meeting. You actually think it through as part of the call planning process. Yes. And you, then you stick to your role unless you've got a major issue. Absolutely. Yep. Have the conversation ahead of time. Be clear about the roles and the success rate will go up significantly. Thanks, Bill. Great suggestion. Thanks, John.